English host had the good tact to invite them on completely separate times to the uh, exhibition to lecture. So in fact, they never were in London at the same moment. Uh, but of course, the preservation of the idea of a uh, group identity to surrealism uh, wields photomontage in the service of uh, bringing Breton in uh, when he actually wasn't there. And once you know this, it's sort of, you can see that the scale of his head doesn't quite fit uh, the uh, rank and file there uh, that he's along with. But just the fact that uh, they would attempt to uh, manipulate history or fabricate history in this way, I think, uh, indirectly indicates the significance of these kind of group photographs uh, amongst the group as, as a token of their joint uh, activities. So in Paris, in 38, they attempted to outdo the London Surrealist Exhibition uh, in many ways, but one way uh, was not uh, in terms of group exhibition portraits. The most uh, dramatic, uh, the cover is this uh, supposed photograph of a kind of Frankenstein uh, automaton, uh, a very famous opening with many performative aspects, and the Surrealist group themselves uh, tried to perform one such with Helen Vanell, uh, the dancer who was uh, promised uh, in these, uh, this program, uh, including enacting hysteria. Uh, in this case, they've, uh, five or six of the artists have submitted to enacting a kind of bewitchment uh, by Helen Vanel, uh, including Man Ray, Dolly from Behind, Elward again. Uh, not entirely convincing. In fact, it's kind of an absolutely corny uh, photograph from our point of view. On the other hand, it's staged and manipulated photography, which makes it kind of interesting. Uh, and again, Duchamp is not present, or is he? Uh, because in fact, it's his coal brazier and coal sacks on the ceiling that form the setting or environment for this kind of uh, Macbeth-like uh, conjuring here. A number of these kinds of photos were taken uh, for the preview of the exhibition. Some of them appeared uh, in the press at the time, as far as I can tell. I don't think this one was published at that moment, but that in any way was its uh, intention. Duchamp was uh, famously said to be absent uh, from openings and such kinds of events. Um, and in fact, the only view we have of him is a very shadowy one at the 38 Surrealist Exhibition, a press photo of somebody who snuck up on him from behind. Uh, and we see just his uh, head and shoulders there talking to two other individuals. But we do see his ambassador, the Rose C'est la Vie mannequin, who in fact uh, became the main presence, the main Duchampian presence throughout the course of the exhibition in her one and only three-dimensional appearance uh, during her lifetime, besides her authoring works and publishing poems and so on, uh, full body, flesh and blood. And in fact, she was subject to a much more salacious uh, gaze uh, than Marcel ever would have been, especially by Raoul Ubach here, who goes right for the crotch, as they would say. Uh, which does give us the interesting document, though, that the mannequin is signed, Eros c'est la vie, uh, right above the pubic area there. Of course, she's dressed in uh, Duchamp's vest, uh, jacket, uh, hat, and shoes, uh, missing the pants. Presumably, he wanted to get out of the gallery in decent uh, condition. But it's the only cross-dressed mannequin, of course, of the show. And uh, I've argued that Man Ray's uh, seemingly more demure a uh, photograph, in fact, makes the same point as uh, Ubach's uh, because it focuses on the street sign, Rue aux Lèvres, and Lèvres uh, references both uh, the lips of the female mouth and, and the vagina. I need a drink after saying that word. Um, with a straight face. Um, a young, surreal, a young photographer, a photojournalist called Denise Bellon, uh, became one of the main documenters of the 38 Surrealist Exhibition, and it was a kind of breakthrough for her. Uh, in the summer of 1937, she had already made extensive photographs of the International Exhibition, uh, the Paris World's Fair, and then that winter uh, became uh, uh, photographed really extensively in the Surrealist show, especially during the setup of the installation. And looking over, of course, she made many better known classic documentary shots of the beds, uh, the coal sack room, and the mannequins in the show. But I recently realized that she also uh, was pursuing a kind of portraiture of the main participants of the exhibition and photographed quite a few of them. 
Uh, on the left here, Paul Elouard, um, next to one, uh, Seligman's mannequin. Uh, on the right, Georges Unier, whose furniture shop was uh, crucial in the preparations for this exhibition, and who's in fact uh, furnishing a kind of mannequin table object uh, for the show. Or, in fact, he's playing uh, a double play with the hand here in a kind of surrealist fashion and letting his uh, wife or partner do the, uh, do the sewing. Um, these are both Bellon portraits. Uh, maybe the best are those by uh, Bellon and Dali. In a sense, Dali is a kind of uh, collaborator here, quite uh, reminds me of what was said earlier about the theatricalization uh, of the portrait, because Dali is practically an actor. Uh, young and handsome here and playing with manipulating the elements of his mannequin that would be in the uh, rainy taxi outside once the exhibition uh, opened. Um, Bellon also photographed uh, Maurice Henri and Marcel Jean among her portraits at this time, but no Marcel Duchamp. Uh, however, she did follow Duchamp to his studio right at the same moment to try to add to her set, and I think these are fairly little known uh, portraits of him at the, the, at the time of the International Surrealist Exhibition. And after looking at the Dalis, I find that uh, Duchamp is quite a diffident participant here, uh, not very anxious to be photographed, yet he does uh, rather reluctantly, uh, or rather limply, uh, demonstrate the door at Rue Larry, which of course was both open and closed at the same time, uh, and perhaps more significantly uh, manipulates a rook uh, on the chessboard, a uh, wall chessboard of his own uh, devising. Uh, an interesting early document, I think, of the uh, misleading image or the mythology that grew up after World War II that Duchamp had given up art uh, for chess. Uh, Duchamp's arrival in June of 1942 galvanized the Surrealist group in New York for this uh, installation, which we've just heard the a kind of scientific uh, slice uh, of looking at. Uh, and it also became the setting for two portraits uh, by a very young photographer that I want to turn to now, uh, Arnold Newman, who at the time, uh, worth considering, was only 24 years old and just barely into or his career, but a year into his project. Marcel was 55, by the way. Uh, into Newman into his project of photographing artists in their milieu. And Newman has uh, discussed and published uh, fairly extensively uh, his idea of the photograph not as a snapshot, but as a setup, something that's very planned and manipulated, uh, which the elements that appear with the person are meant to have a symbolic value and sort of elaborate on the uh, iconography of their persona. The series begins, and I think it's worth uh, keeping in context before I speak more about these, uh, to, con 